We may now return to the motion on investigation of allegations of abuse at Kinkora Boys Home. And I call Mr. Colum Eastwood to speak. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Um, can I begin by echoing uh, the words of support and, I suppose, congratulations to all the campaigners who, over the last number of years, have uh, made an immense impact uh, in this place and an immense impact in terms of uh, the search for truth and justice for all those people in our society who have uh, suffered uh, the great injustice of, of child abuse. Uh, organizations like Savia, and I know some of them are here uh, today, have done immense work uh, to bring this issue to the fore and to ensure that uh, this House uh, and this executive is uh, making good strides to try and bring about uh, justice um, for all those people. It is kind of depressing, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, that almost daily we have a new uh, revelation about the abuse of, of children in our society. Uh, most recently, we've seen uh, issues of very prominent and very powerful people uh, across the water being uh, facilitated by very powerful institutions uh, to treat uh, our children in the most despicable uh, of ways. We've seen over the last 10 or 15 years uh, the state and powerful elements within the church uh, across this island being allowed uh, to get away with, again, very terrible injustices to uh, our young people. Thankfully, we're now uh, in an era where we can talk about these issues, where we can bring them to the fore, and where we can attempt to hold these people, and more particularly these institutions, uh, to account. It is even though it's nearly 30 years old, these revelations around Concora are no less uh, shocking and demand no less uh, from us in terms of our, uh, our, our, all of our efforts to try and bring the truth uh, to the fore. It is astonishing that this length of time has been allowed to pass without a proper investigation being allowed, being facilitated uh, into what happened uh, at Concora. And whatever about all the allegations about security services and state involvement and everything else, the bottom line in this, Mr. Deputy Speaker, is that many young people were abused and have not got any modicum of justice or truth uh, in all of that time. So it is incumbent on us and on uh, Westminster, Mr. Deputy Speaker, to ensure that we can now get to a stage where those people can have some level of truth uh, and justice. Um, th th there's very good work going on in the Justice Heart, uh, in the Justice Heart Inquiry, uh, and, I, and there's been very good work in terms of the Acknowledgement Forum, and we have to ensure that that work continues. And in fact, we get to a point uh, where we can look at uh, reparations and where we can look at expanding, whether it's that particular inquiry or, uh, or having a, a further inquiry into the issues around clerical abuse. Uh, but we do understand that the issues around Concora are out with the, the abilities of the Justice Heart Inquiry to actually get to the truth. Uh, we need to ensure that that part of the inquiry, uh, whilst not diminishing those people's rights, those victims' rights around the Acknowledgement Forum and things like that, but we need to ensure uh, that there is a proper inquiry into what the state have done, into what the security services have done. And I think that probably best re rests at this stage uh, with the, the, the Wolf uh, inquiry. But as was pointed out earlier by Mr. Atwood and others, uh, we cannot take our eye off the ball. We uh, in uh, this country have very uh, difficult experience and very uh, a bad experience when it comes to what state agencies have been allowed to get away with, what they've been allowed to cover up, and what victims have not been allowed to uh, get near. When victims have not been allowed to get near the truth or near justice, we need to make sure that every bright light is shone on the darkest corners of the state 
and of the security services to ensure that those people who are still struggling and still striving uh, for truth and justice with regard to Concora and all other issues are allowed to see those files and allowed to act upon them. Uh, thank you very much. Call Mr. Roy Beggs.